Hi, 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 fellow, fellow Greenbox friends. Ooh. Welcome hi. to a special mini episode of Forgotten Indigo. I forgot my thing to monitor the chat. Oh well. I will monitor the chat. Hi, chat. How's it going? I. It's in the other room. I can't get it. <laughs> that's fine. How, how do you monitor the chat that's in the, the other phone? room? Is it? Is uh, it's a, it's a tablet. Oh, that's oh, smart. Good thinking. That's using the old noodle. Let me hit that. Uh, hey everyone button. There we go. Okay. Everyone has been Whoa. alerted. Hey chat. We're trying we're trying something different. Different days, different hours, and uh a slightly different game. I hope y'all enjoy. This is this is for fucking fun. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like not to say it's always for business and for serious, but th this one's this one's here to have a good time. Yeah, this one nope. is uh basically you getting a mini RP that you don't gotta pay for. Yeah, exactly. A mini RP with fucking dumbass mechanics we uh we added. Hold on. Neat. I'm gonna. I won't complain. Uh, focusing first and foremost on Delilah Deltano. Let me let me make sure that this. There's there's one thing that I need to potentially like ask uh ask you about because it's 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 roll twenty schmangy dang. But um, uh yeah. We'll, we'll get into it. Um, oh. Chat, I hope you're doing good. I hope you're ready for, uh, I hope you're ready for some fun nonsense. Um, we're waiting on Mass currently. <laughs> no idea yeah. where the fuck you went. Um, he but, was here uh, and then he was gone. Yes. Uh, if he shows, then we'll, we'll do something with that. And if he doesn't, um, well, that's we'll that, I guess. Scoot on in. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. So... I'm just going to take us in. <clears throat> oh, what's a good theme for this? Yeah, this one. Thanks, Will. Um, mm. So, this picks up immediately where we left off. Actually, later that very same night. Delilah, you receive a call about one of the businesses. This one directly owned by the Deltano family. A bar sort of over by Tide's Edge HQ, along that section of dock that manages to maintain its status as a part of Old Seaside. There aren't those fancy street signs and paved roads out there. It's actually a quiet little section of dock. So, you actually invested in a bar out there. A little thing called the Siren. And you managed to redo the decor, match it to your aesthetics, and... The bar was up and running and actually turning a tidy profit for a while. However, something disrupted that. You're not quite sure when, but the sirens started sort of flagging business-wise. Maybe it was the presence of other restaurants, maybe it was the Tide's Edge opening their own competitive place, but you noticed that their numbers were slipping, but were otherwise sort of... Your hands were tied. Uh, you were so busy, especially recently, you weren't able to look into the place yourself, and... Tonight, actually, is the night that they took the initiative. You receive a call from the person who runs it. And... You... Make your way over to the restaurant in question. Alright. And you come in! And, oh. yeah, it's gorgeous! Like, I know you were probably worried that this place might, uh, suck, but no. The Siren is, like, top to bottom, the aesthetic that the Deltano family likes to embody. It's this, it's this cool blue space that actually plays nice with your eyes. <laughs> it's... Oh, I love this. Yeah, it's great. And, um, you, uh, <clears throat> you look over, and... What you call it? You see, you see the bartender. It's, it's, he's a guy named Opal. He um he he sort of moves over. You hired him yourself. Uh, he uh he moves over, welcoming you in. Uh, Miss Sultano, thanks for thanks for stopping by again. Uh, of course, dear uh, Opal. Um, I, I don't mean to be rude, but the siren was doing very well for quite some time, <laughs> and. I, I I left it in your charge because you have the skills and the talent, all the charm needed for it. Um, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he takes a step backwards. Well, you, for a second, you you assume the "I'm sorry" is coming, but um, 
well, this is somebody you hired yourself. That, that does not arrive. He, uh, he like looks around and motions to the bar. Admittedly, the place is gorgeous and we were doing great for a while. It just ran into some problems. Um, actually, it has to do with the help, first and foremost. The, the help is not helping. Yeah, uh, well, a bunch of people, um, hmm. Uh, he thinks back to himself. We actually changed up the way that we do things. Uh, sort of started to run this big event, you know? Like something to draw on a large number of customers. He, uh, he motions around to the, to the bar. Siren Song Saturdays. Uh, it was... It sort of existed to be um, something that we could do that would be different than every other bar in Indigo. Mm -hmm. The idea was we'd convey this, we'd convey this calming presence and encourage people to come in and get that authentic experience of coming in and talking to a bartender about their problems. <laughs> he, he strokes his chin. The problem we sort of ran into with that was um, it was a little too successful. He, like, looks up and over at you. A bunch of people drop by, actually, and, um, well, they got kind of used to Siren Song Saturdays. It was, it was this big, it was this big event, like, word managed to pass around, but, um, his, his shoulders sag. The people we got to actually, like, come in and talk to the customers, they stopped showing. Uh, he, he sort of motions to his side. We got this nice guy from the tap house, like, uh, absolute charmer. He, uh, he sat and he listened to pretty much everyone who came in and out. He wasn't exactly used to city life, but he provided some sort of, like, a, a more wholesome farm boy-like aesthetic. And worked great for a while. A bunch of people were coming in, and then, all at once, he snaps his fingers and, poof, vanished. Just stopped showing up for work, and that, hmm. that went, that went over kind of like crap a bunch of people threw a fit stopped coming so, but 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 i once again went back over to the tap house and i got somebody else for a little bit of help um she's absolutely gorgeous everybody everybody showed up to to see this sort of like i don't know uh he like motions over to his side um she had like this borderline regal air to her uh she insulted a few customers but like a oh, few people <laughs> a few people seem to be borderline into that so like oh. it worked for a bit um all right sure she uh she uh says she can't come in anymore <laughs> <laughs> he sort of sags outside of Sir siren song saturdays they brought in this huge upturn in profits but like place is borderline a ghost town other than that the bad reputation of our bartenders is sort of going around at this point and Ugh. with with the new girl gone as well i'm sort of at a loss of what to do we were really turning profits around but he he sort of sags so i was hoping to ask for your help could you manage the next siren song saturday oh uh well, certainly, dear. Um, these people that we had helping us uh, for a while, uh, do we know where they went? Can we call them? I mean, obviously, <laughs> the gal, if she's not interested, we, she can do her own thing. That's fine. I, I don't want to press her. Uh, but this farm boy, that's a charm. I like that. Yeah. Uh, really, it comes down to just keeping people around. I, If we could get a little more help, I'm sure things would be going great, but I don't know. I... I just can't make him stay. Hmm. Well, dear, I... Hmm. I didn't mean to snap at you earlier. It's just there's <laughs> been a lot of things going on. Um, and honestly, I really needed a win today. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, no worries. I really appreciate you calling me. Uh, that yeah. means a lot, because... A lot of folks would have just tried bumbling through this by themselves and not trying to call me about it. So thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, he seems genuinely very appreciative of this. Thanks, boss. You're the best. Um, also, I love your hair. It's so cute today. <laughs> thank you. He, uh, he, like, <laughs> he fluffs it up and out. This is like whatever whatever cocktail of creatures created this man, he's, he's frankly gorgeous. But uh, he, he 
kind of like leans on the counter again. Yeah, uh, it's not exactly a siren song Saturday the night, but I'm gonna do my best to try to cover. Uh, would it be unreasonable to ask for some help over in this direction? I don't see why not. Uh, I mean, hmm, let's see here. Well, I mean, first and foremost, I feel like we need to get a crowd because, I mean, right now, it doesn't matter how many people you have helping. If there's no one to help, then what's the point? That's a very good point. Uh, you, I could try I could try the usual advertisement, go outside, try to track people down, but then I wouldn't be running the bar. Hmm. You know, I bet I know a couple folks I can get the word around. I mean, it's partly their job to my understanding. <laughs> uh, he, he seems genuinely, like, a little taken aback. Oh, if you could handle that, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Of course, dear. Let's see here. Because uh, there's this gentleman, I wouldn't mind chatting with him a bit more, named Galav. And she, like, <laughs> leans on the counter, uh, elbows back and uh, back to him. He delivers the papers, so, I mean, all the more reason for him to deliver the news. <laughs> that, that'd be great, honestly. Like, whatever help we could get, that... We just... He, he motions around, a little short-stabbed, and... I'm about to open this place, and I don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if I'd want Galav in the building itself. Uh, no. Just because I don't think he has the delicate touch. <laughs> uh, but as an advertisement, I think he'd draw attention. <laughs> hmm. Someone in the... Hmm. Delilah thinks very hard about who would be available uh, and even interested in work. You you start to think and ponder. You start to consider deeply who could possibly be around and well-equipped to run a bar like this. And as you do, almost, Delilah, your your ability to size up people is fantastic. It's, it's one of the things that you focused in on over the years. And as you... As you reflect on it, you think, hmm, who's in this city? Who's around? Who would be available? Delilah. Yes. Here's a list of everyone in the city. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, they all this have... is so long! <laughs> they all have different aptitudes and abilities. Oh. As you can see, we too thought out who exactly would be the best to run your bar. Naturally. You don't need to think this out so far. You can look at this bartender dex as much as you see fit. However, for the most part, it'll come down to who's available. So, Delilah, I want to ask, who do you think is around and available right now for you to run a bar with? Oh, uh, there's so many people. There's so many people. Okay, I also need to figure out like what these. I guess I guess the colors don't matter right now. It's more. The colors just... don't matter immediately. Okay. If you want. If you want maybe a hint in the right direction, your good pal Jeremiah's always around and available to help you out. Yeah, Jeremiah Jeremiah is usually a pretty good pick. Um, just because he is he is normally around I'm not gonna subject Mallow to more work. <laughs> uh who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's like half my problem too, is I'm yeah. like, who the hell are these people? Yeah, uh, so if just pick a person, give a call, and they'll show up. You know what? Yeah. Send me joy. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to take over Jeremiah and Joy? Or just Joy? Uh you know what? Cause I, I, I wanna I wanna see if 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 he'd wanna do it. Um if Mask wants to talk to Jeremiah, let's have both of them show up. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so, Delilah, you put out the call. And in a lot of cases like this, I wanted to give you a free, like, off the top of your head, who would be fun to tag in. And you gave me Joy, a very fun pick. Um, <laughs> yes. On the other hand, for the most part, you can also, between sessions, Leave this up to who applies for a job. In which case, we roll for you, and just whatever happens, happens. Oh my god. Um, so... 
Joy. And <laughs> let me grab Jeremiah. Also, his stats are bonkers. They're very high. <laughs> I mean, he is a spy, so is that a yeah. good idea? Probably not, but like, whatever. <laughs> okay, so Jeremiah, hold on. I believe. Let me let me get these all set up. Can you see these stats? I can. Excellent. So yeah, three. Awesome. Let me see. Jeremiah. Jeremiah is actually rather special. Uh, he he is the one I assumed Delilah would be like, hey, Jeremiah, get in here, help run this bar. Um, so to a certain extent, Jeremiah's stats are customizable for you oh. <laughs> while everyone else is set. So um, you put in a call and given a little bit of time, they actually, uh, but the pair shows up. That's right. You heard rumors of, well, I guess you've engaged with Joy directly, haven't you? I have. We spoke at uh, uh -huh. my failed party. Yes. Uh -huh. That was <laughs> and, a fun evening. Uh, <laughs> and you were using Galav to put out the notice? Yeah, I feel like Galav, just because Delilah knows him. Yeah. Uh, and she's like, he might need a couple extra bucks. Um, and uh, just, just like... He's big enough and so good-hearted, I feel like his energy would be enough for people to be like, yeah, I'll give it another try, sure. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, Galav starts putting the word around, and you manage to summon in both Joy and Jeremiah. The two walk in, the door clicking open. <laughs> Opal, Opal slides over. Hmm, who do we got here? Well... Uh, as you probably know, Jeremiah is my right hand and has been for about 20 years now. He has um, an expertise in this sort of thing, to be sure. Um, people please him. I mean, he works at a funeral home, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think World 20 just fucked up. <laughs> oh, bad. Uh, I think it did, but I'm hoping it comes back. Yeah. Uh, Delilah yeah. just with Joy. And Joy is a walking parade. <laughs> and he lives and he lives Why, up thank to you. His <laughs> and he lives up to his name. I think not to mention, I think it might be more welcoming and I, I want this to be in a welcoming place for everyone. And if we have someone known to be a part of Gailaria, it shows that we do not care where you are from because you are here now. <laughs> yeah, I wild when you came to me for this. I'll be real. <laughs> Extremely clever. You mind helping us out for a night? He's sliding you know what? forward. I was kind of leery because like, uh, you know, it's a Del Tano place. I got nothing against that, but uh, I try to keep out of the, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, Galev asked and frankly, I can't say no to that man. So <laughs> also, yeah. this looks like fun. Hell yeah, let's do it. Good. I'm glad you're going to have fun with this. It's important because they, you know what they say, if you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life, which is why I work at a funeral home. <laughs> Fucked up, man. But you no, know what? That, that was just a little joke to look for the ice a bit. Honestly, it was kind of just handed to me. For the most part. Oh, thank God, because honest to fuck, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just smile. Step over here. <laughs> well, thank you both for showing up. Uh, we could we could use all the help we can get. Um, we're about to throw open the doors, and whoever comes in, uh, if it if it was left to just me, I think I'd panic. I, uh, I'm a good manager, but not a very good bartender. Hey, we oh. all got skills. Well, dear, where would you feel most comfortable being? Honestly, in the back, helping out, like, as a sous chef or something like that. I'm, I'm a reasonable cook as well. All right, then. Well, I mean, I might as well be out here anyways to just kind of see what kind of folks come on in. And I'll probably pop on in occasionally to help you with the cooking, but I trust you all. <laughs> he, uh, he smiles. Any assistance you could give would be great. Your meal's really pushing up and over. Mm-hmm. Which is why I'm going to give you this. And uh, she flicks her wrist and something pops out of her sleeve and it's a small recipe. Mm. These are for pepperoni pepper poppers. I use these exclusively at businesses I want to succeed because I know they draw a crowd and they come specifically from me. 
Thanks, boss. Like, he reaches down and picks it up. Secret recipe? We, we broke out the big guns? Two people helping out? Yeah, tonight's gonna go great. He, uh, he looks, like, frankly, extremely excited. So, getting into the minigame itself. Here's how this is gonna go. A bunch of people are going to move into your, uh, into your little restaurant. Okay. Each of them has a different issue. They are color-coded based on the hierarchy of needs. In this case, uh, some people are suffering from physiological needs. They need food, shelter, they don't got enough money. Yellow. Uh, we're talking more relationship stuff, like love, friendship, all that other fun, fun things. And then blue is self-fulfillment needs. Ideological struggles, like, may, damn, maybe I'm not getting enough out of life. They're all Ooh. going to come in with a health bar. And it is your job to assign people to the right tables, the right areas, and to make sure that they can properly take care of the various guests. After all, the main point of the siren is to come in and have an authentic experience talking to a real bartender. Delilah, on the other hand, you have no stats. Your success or failure is determined primarily by your ability to RP. Okay. Uh, talking to someone is as simple a matter as of hearing them out. However, managing everyone else, that is finding the right person for the right job. And the two helpful people you've grabbed are very well balanced. They'll deal with issues perfectly fine. There are additional little quirks, but let's talk about, let's let's work out the very first round to begin with. Um, I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. Mask, this is going to be your person that has an issue, you know. Confessing to their yes, yes, yes. Um, this one is going to be from me, and uh, the last one I'm going to say, uh, this is uh, this is yours, J Man. Oh, I'll grab yes, you. Okay, and then to just oh, she cute. Yeah. Uh, and then just to double check, yellow is the body, blue is the soul, red is the heart. It is, it is, red is physiological. Oh, red and, uh, is physiological. Yes, I will, I will put a note up here. Red is like <laughs> practicality stuff. Um, okay. Uh, physiological, I misspelled that. Uh, let's, let's fix that, hold on. Blue, self-fulfillment, and yellow is relationship. Okay, let me grab this, like this, over there. Fucking correct my spelling mistake. P-H-Y. <laughs> Physiological. 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 Physiological is a completely different Logical. thing. It's entirely <laughs> theoretical at this stage. Ah. Next up, there you go. Uh... Okay, so these three guests are going to move around. They are they are briefly seated, and let's move this one over here, uh, this one over to this table, and then finally this guy down here. They all split up and spread out through the restaurant. Now you've got two assistants and Delilah, uh, almost like tracking them with your eyes. You start to feel a. You start to, like, you start to feel a presence from each of them. Yes! They all want to talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> you have two people currently under your employ. They can each take one that you aren't currently occupied with. The last, of course, will be left to you, Delilah. Okay. And there are a wide variety of secondary moves you can pull to make the job of not only yourself, but everyone in the restaurant a little easier. So... To start, from the top, I'm going to spell these out relatively simply. Uh, Mask, what Yo. sort of... Uh, your sort of character's vibe is, like, a little more nervous, right? Uh, this person is a little bit anxious, a little bit depressed, but it seems like they're yeah, something on their mind, and if you had to guess, you've seen this look before, it's a matter of the heart. So yeah. This person's in love with someone. <laughs> okay. Ne next up, uh, J-Man, tell me about this person. Ah, uh, you look at this person, this person really seems to be really, like, racking their brain about something. They're feeling some self-doubt right now. They're not quite <laughs> sure what to do with themselves. 
And of course, finally, this one is just sitting there like, hmm, crap. Uh, like they're looking, they're looking at and around the restaurant. Like, yeah, you recognize this look. This is the look of a budding business person trying to grow more and more. This nervousness, this trepidation is looking at a potentially more successful, nicer business. Yeah. This is an issue of money, probably, or at least personal growth. So, I want you, Delilah, to tell me who goes where. Uh, let's see here. And then out of curiosity, are these going to be RP'd out, or is it I'm just kind of fire and forget? <laughs> you will RP yours. The other two will occur in the background, and you'll occasionally pass them by. Okay. If that's the case, because I didn't want to force people to RP with themselves... Uh, I feel like Joy is the most equipped to talk to someone who's having a heart trouble right now. Oh, excellent. Well. Okay. Also, yeah, someone that's yeah, someone <laughs> this bright and peppy, like obviously that's gonna help. Jeremiah, while an intimidating person, is a money person as well. Excellent. So he knows business, so he'll go chat with that guy. Excellent, okay. Um and that, of course, leaves you right here. Now, over the course of the conversation. That basically, I'll keep you updated as, basically, your job is to deplete the various problem health bars of the people that you're talking to. In this case, allow me to allow me to display it for one of the characters that you aren't discussing with. So, this one, uh, to go down to Mask's table, um, this, of course, is a problem of heart, so let me do this. You'll see that this one currently has a two out of two yellow. If they continue their conversation, it will drain Joy's yellow by two and their yellow by two, leaving oh. Joy with two out of five. Exactly. And uh, similarly, this one over here is. Let's see. Uh, if there could be bars above them, we cannot see them. Oh, you can't see any of the above, any of the bars. Hold on. We can see the oh, ones I, I, above, like this, like the uh, characters that Will is tagged in, but not like the NPCs. Let's say edited and controlled by all characters. There can you, you go. see that? There yep. you go. Okay. Oh, um, oh, nice. And let's see. All right, that's cute. I like this already. Yes. Uh, we will add further quirks to this as this goes on. This one is a three out of three. Uh, so. Uh, the person that you are discussing with, ooh, that, sorry, that is, that should not be blue, that should be a red three out of three. Um, and the person that you are discussing with is, uh, two out of two. Still can't see you. Doink, and hold on, I got a control by, there you go. There you go. Uh, and finally, controlled by all players. There we go. That was right. the roll 20 quirk that I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to clear this with everyone. Can you see the bars? Yeah, um, no, that's good. <laughs> uh, excellent. So, yes, basically, this round of, um, uh, this round of conversation begins. Uh, going around, we're going to focus on the other NPCs first. This discussion starts over in the corner as uh, Jeremiah starts to Jeremiah starts to talk out this person's money issues. Yeah, this guy, he's opening up a uh, he's, he's he's opening up something new on the far side of town, some sort of business. It's like it's another coffee shop. Crap, another coffee shop in Indigo. That's not a good idea. Jeremiah provides a wide variety of suggestions to do instead. I drop their reds by one, respectively. Um, and over here, explain to me the situation, Mask. Uh, this guy seems to have the problem of, oh, there's this guy he's been working with for a while, but more recently he's been thinking about how, oh, you know what? He would actually really like to take this person out on a date, but what if they say no? <laughs> and Joy is just like, you know what? You're doing great. Like, you've already uh, taken the step of realizing this is where you're at with this person. Uh, you can... It's not... It starts basically building up the courage to, yes, you can actually fucking ask this person. It's fine. <laughs> okay. And finally, up here, J-Man, take it away. Oh, yeah. You, you, you sit down at this table, and then you see this person, like, their hands crossed together. They're looking down at their palms, kind of shuffle them back and forth. As soon as you sit down, they kind of, like, look up, and before you can even open your mouth to ask them what's wrong, they just start going, going, <laughs> Whoever 
Do you ever feel like every single thing you ever work towards gets shattered by one singular person? Sometimes. And worst of all, sometimes it can be myself. I see. She continues but, to... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, but she's like, but I may not be able to control other people, but I can decide what's good for me. Hmm. She continues to kind of like look at her hand and says, Okay, but have you ever had a person who uh, drifted down from the sky with uh, around 30 balloons who happened to look like a crocodile uh, drift down and kick the hell out of you and tell you you're not good enough to even breathe air? I know precisely who you are talking about here. <laughs> I would not even credit that man as a man. He is a nuisance at best, and you should ignore anything that fumbles out of his mouth that he describes as English. <laughs> you, say <What>? that, <laughs> you say that, and she kind of like looks up at you and goes, Yeah, I don't know, I just... Ever since I was a child, I always valued myself as the uh, strongest warrior from my village. I had an awesome power, honestly. I could... I could just bend the wind around a person and just toss them against the wall and then be done with it. But this guy decided to fight me on my own territory with a flock of balloons. <laughs> and the fact that apparently he could even beat me on my own level, being less than a man himself, was <laughs> insulting me to my very core. <laughs> hmm, I see. I could see why that hurts quite a bit, but... Dear, do you really need to beat him to prove your strength? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's plenty of other folks out there and you can use that strength for far more than just beating somebody up. You could help folks. Like how? Like how? Dear, have you not seen this city? I mean, even just less than a week ago, Tide and uh, Tempest, they were being a little rowdy when it came to the general public and a lot of folks, they just don't have the strength to stand up to them. So, someone, a bona fide knight such as yourself, stepping up and being a shield, and the, the courage, the, the strength they need to stand up for themselves, well, hell, that's gotta be worth something. Hmm. Uh, you see her, like, face almost sort of lighten a bit. You feel like you're starting to get through to this person a bit. Should I drop the blue by one? Yes. Excellent. Um, as the as the as time goes on, uh, Opal runs back out. Hey, boss. Um, is there anything in particular you want me to cook? I could really bring out a good meal, get everybody's spirits uh, boosted up. Do I want? Once, mm -hmm. uh, every once in a while, Opal's gonna come out and ask you for your advice on a dish. Furthermore, you can trigger this event yourself, but only once per, per round where you go around. Um, in this case, you serve a dish to absolutely everyone on the, uh, on the battlefield, I was about to call it. <laughs> what this does, basically, is you do a feast roll. And, depending on what you decide to lock in off of your feast roll, that will boost up absolutely everyone's stat by one point. So say you're like, I'm gonna have a red feast. That'll boost Jeremiah's red up by one, Joy's red up by one, and in the case that somebody has a red problem, it will drop their red by one. Oh. So, it's time, it's Delilah cooking time. <laughs> okay, sure. I guess I'll, I'll roll to die real quick. Yes, give me that roll to die. Tell me what Ooh. you're cooking. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll go with, we'll do red. Uh, I mean, Jeremiah's dealing with a more involved client anyway, so that makes sense. Delilah, off the top of your head, what would you advise that Opal cook for the rest of the bar? Let's see here. Uh, I think Delilah will, um, I, th I think people are a little stressed out right now, so uh, I think she's just going to suggest bringing out some like uh maybe uh, cookies and things like that accompanied with just nice coffee and tea um we're, we're nice. gonna start off we're not gonna start going to the heavy meal just yet this is just to like warm people up and enjoy some sweets and uh get comfortable excellent uh so yeah you uh you basically send opal on his way and like give it a little bit of time yeah Coffee and sweets, Deltano style, delivered to absolutely every table. 
He moves around, delivering them with a flash. This is one of your recipes. He's ready. Delilah. Furthermore, if you wish to leave the battlefield and cook yourself, you can. Providing <laughs> a bonus to everyone else out there. In this case, moving around, Joy, I'm going to boost up your red by one. Hell yeah. Jeremiah, your red also is increased by one. As well as Excellent. this person is dropped by one. So... Through the careful use of food, you are able to control the environment in the bar. We um we move around, and in this case, we cut back over to these two, munching on these mun uh, munching on these sweets and cookies. Uh, the uh like uh the th this this uh God I'm I'm losing the word um business entrepreneur. There we go. Mm -hmm. Uh manages to actually like. This, this would be great, actually. I don't... Combination bar and place that serves tea and coffee? It's absolutely brilliant. He starts to, like, he starts to go off a little bit. Jeremiah briefly explaining that, yes, this is a Daltano family recipe. In a second, this person's actually like, hmm, oh, you could serve tea and cookies at a bar. And it goes over this wall. Maybe my idea isn't so far-fetched at all. I'll try branching out. Thanks for the advice. Jeremiah manages to... Oh, you you go, you go. <laughs> of course, best of luck. And, you know, it might not be a terrible idea to look for a weird combination of things, you know? So, coffee and biscuits and things, eh, not terribly uncommon. But there really is only one candy store that I can think of, and you're in a completely different part of town. I mean, and that's a pretty safe bet. Brilliant, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee and sweet shop. Thank you so much, Mr. Deltano. Thanks, thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Of course, and just a suggestion. If you're going to do a coffee and candy store, consider bittersweet. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, this one <laughs> is successfully defeated. <laughs> Over oh. here. Joy. Yeah. Tell me how things are going on your end. Uh, so this guy is like, he's finally coming around. He's like, so you really think it's okay even if I, or even if they say no? Hell yeah, man. I mean, worst case scenario, you've got it out in the open. You've got your honesty. It, it, the feelings between you are honest. And that's going to feel better than keeping it, like, back, backed up. Maybe it won't work out. Maybe you say friends. Maybe blah, 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 blah. But you're going to be fine. You're a good dude with a good heart. It's And... He's going to appreciate. It sounds like he's going to appreciate that whether he wants to date you or not. So go for it, man. You got nothing to lose. Oh, okay. Fuck. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting fired up. He's ready. He's going to go confess over here. You know, she, uh, she continues to sit here and after saying that, you say there's ways I can help around the city, prove myself to be more of a warrior than just in the way of the combat. <laughs> of course, dear. I mean, there's, uh, take for example, I know this girl named Noctua, who is doing a lovely job helping the community in a variety of ways. I actually joined her just the other day, and honestly, while it was wonderful to help people, it was fun and very fulfilling for myself. You know what, for example, I didn't know I liked gardening, but now I'm honestly considering it. And not to mention the help folks. And if you'd like, dear, if you're more interested in the combat side of things, and no judging, you know what you like, uh, Delilah leans onto the table and has a very warm smile. I actually know someone who's starting to gather folks for a little Knights of the Round table. And uh, Delilah slides across the table um, one of those invitations that Doris had been handing out. Nicely done. I see. Uh, she picks up the invitation and kind of looks at it and goes, Hmm. Do you think that if I were to join these knights of the round table, I would get strong enough to potentially take on a bastard crocodile man with a series of balloons? Dear, I think anything is possible, especially if you have help. And there's nothing wrong with having a little help. I mean, look right now. Oh. Hmm. Uh, she, she kind of nods her head, affirming a bit. You're right. Maybe there's some... There's nothing wrong with uh, putting away my pride just to ask for some help to take on a flying bastard. 
<laughs> Honestly, it's incredibly brave to ask for assistance because there's so many times, I know for myself even, there's plenty of times that I feel like if I ask for help, it, it means I couldn't do it or that I was weak. But no, it's, it's quite the opposite. It's acknowledging that there might be a flaw in your armor and getting it smithed out so that the next time you can attack it head on. You're right. Uh, she kind of looks a bit uh, reaffirmed a bit and uh, she, she stands up. Thank you for this. I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go and see about contacting these people right away. Of course, dear. And, and make sure to take some of those cookies with you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and with that, you've successfully defeated everyone who came into the bar. They all leave satisfied, not only with their meals, but with themselves. <laughs> they all start They all start to exit, and yeah, I'm going to throw you all back up and around here. Y'all gather back around the bar. Wow, that was incredible, you three. You know, oh, heck. Not bad over there, buddy. <laughs> Why do you sound like a threat coming from you? But I appreciate <laughs> the gesture. Thank you. Uh, that is, honestly, that warms my heart to hear. <laughs> Again, no, terrifying. <laughs> it's just the way I talk, buddy. Don't worry about it. But... I, I, gotta, I gotta admit, like, you guys are way better at this than the last two. First one, like, he'd sit and listen to people, but he didn't, um... You ever get caught in one of those conversations where the other person just won't shut up? Yeah, I was bad at those, so, like, there'd be a line forming. You guys are quick. Uh, second girl. Uh, he, like, he goes back and thinks, um, she said a few times, uh, like, I don't know, the one you dealt with, points of joy. You, you got, you got somebody, like, worrying about a confession, right? Yeah. Yeah, but no, uh, bit. she got a bunch of those, and, uh, I think her line was, uh, uh, that sounds like your problem. Which, uh, oh bad for God. business, horrific care. <laughs> you three are spectacular. Uh, I'm, it, sh what? <laughs> oh, my. Sounds super high, but I'm glad I'm clearing it. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I would not be very well prepared for that sort of a topic either, but my god. <laughs> <laughs> you three are absolutely great. Like, um, uh, turns, turns and looks at Delilah again. Seriously, boss, thank you so much for this. Uh, I, I think word's gonna spread around. Like, people are gonna know about the siren now. Well, that's wonderful. And again, thank you very much for calling me. I, I'm... <sighs> I feel bad that I, I don't come on by more often, and believe me, I'm not trying to ignore you anything of the sort. It's just been very busy, and I don't know. I miss this. See? Like, I don't know. There's like, there's a sudden... I, Delilah, as you like soften up like that for a second, you feel this like, you feel actually a shocking amount of like, hmm familiarity with this place i want you to run through what what's going on in delilah's head and heart right now delilah is looking around at the bar and like she knows this is a, a good place not even just because of the way it looks she thinks the location is good um it just has a nice vibe to it and whatnot but she knows that if you get the right people in here yeah this could be a great spot not just for um you know, adults. She sees the potential of families coming in uh, because there, there there are some places to go and eat with a family, but yeah. not a lot. They're sometimes a little more expensive. So she's probably going to look at the menu and try and knock down the prices a bit. Having a karaoke bar is also pretty unique that she is aware of. Yeah. Um, and the other big thing is she liked doing something so mundane. It was... She didn't need to worry about, hey... <laughs> like this, she hasn't had to deal with this kind of a problem, but for Adeltano back in the day, it was, Hey, what do we do with this body and shit like that? <laughs> yeah. and, it, and, and for her, it was just someone having a little, little bump in the road, which she loves to help with. And she was just a nobody. This person didn't even react to her being a Deltano. <laughs> you, um, yeah, you reflect on this briefly and the bartender sort of, he breaks into a, he breaks into a wide smile. Well, it's been nice. I, <laughs> I wish you could drop by more often. This is, this is fun. <laughs> well, uh, you know, 
honestly, this was, um, this kind of calmed me down quite a bit, and it made me think of what I'd like tomorrow to look like. And she just <laughs> looks across the bar again and thinks, maybe I can go legitimate. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, would you three be good sticking around the rest of the night? I think we've got another round of customers. Yeah, hey. sure. <laughs> yeah, why not? I cleared my night for other for this. I, I'm good to go. Okay. Oh, boy, I, I didn't mean to make you clear out your whole night for this. I, I, I'll nah. make it up to you. Oh, don't. Oh, jeez. Don't freaking worry about that. I needed the time, honestly. Been kind of weird lately. Oh, This is exactly on? what I needed. I'm glad I came over tonight. Well. It gives you this genuine smile. Uh, Delilah just walks over and kind of pats his hand. If you need anything, or if I can lend an ear to you, I'd, I'd be happy to, dear. Ah, oh, well, thank you very much. I'm doing all right, though. I'm, and I'm pretty excited to see who comes in next. Yeah, unless you want to do guys talk, then, like, I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> he just leaves on the counter. Can I, like, open his mouth and, like, I have no idea what common interests might be for us. That's why we talk, buddy. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> that if I say the wrong thing, you are going to pull out a gun. Oh, would you like one? Pulls it and reaches for his no, gun. No, 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 no. Holy crap. So a little time passes and people come and go from the bar. I'm going to keep this relatively simple, but we are going to focus on the most difficult round of patrons. Oh. The door the door cracks open and uh, hold on, let me roll a dice really quick. Oh boy. You're like D100. <laughs> How many fucking people there are? Let me do this. <laughs> Seven chat. Please, God, make it shitty, shitty Prismate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let me double check the set I've got. Okay. That actually works out with the players. Um, the door cracks open and uh, somebody comes in. Hello, everyone! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I heard news that there was... This lovely place was running another Siren Song Saturday, this time in the middle of the week. How delightful. Ah, uh, he, he looks over to Delilah and, uh, like, takes a deep bow. Miss Del Tano. Oh, it's so good to see you, dear. Thank you so much for popping on by. And she does a, a nice bow as well. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he he gets a big smile. Ooh, where do I sit down? I I would I wish to bear my soul to one of your wonderful um he looks around. Uh bartenders? <laughs> Seeing the the group of people out out back. Oh what a fascinating bunch you've gathered. If you have a preference, dear, I'd be happy to send one your way. <laughs> she just kind of like <laughs> give him a little bump in the shoulder. <laughs> Please, I I leave it to your discretion. He's got he's got a big smile. He's loving this. <laughs> you you sense an aura about this man, though. He he certainly has an issue. This one, this one, a powerful issue. Could it be an issue of perhaps the heart? <laughs> oh God. It's a powerful, potent one. He uh, he starts to he starts to move forward and eventually does wind up sitting down at a table, and um, then the then the door jingle jangles open. Hey, J Man, I'm throwing you a wild card. Okay. Oh, What's this one ah! doing here? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, <laughs> she uh, she walks in and goes, Ah, this is the place Nocti told me that she quit from. <laughs> Kind of just, uh, nods her head a little bit and goes, "Wow, it's really bright in here." <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, if you'd like, we could get you some little sunglasses to help you with that. <laughs> oh no, no, don't worry. These are actually really pretty. Uh, oh. She, she kind of like looks around a little bit. But the other thing I heard from Nocti, I hear you guys got really good food here, right? <laughs> oh, most certainly, dear. I dare say it's a specialty. I mean. You know, we're here to help the soul, and food helps it as well. Hmm, hmm, I see. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, 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 I want to try some of it. <laughs> she says. <laughs> um, she says, can I, can I sit somewhere? Oh, of course, dear. Please. Uh, yeah. And Delilah uh, 
just to be polite, she'll like actually walk Hyle over and like get her order for like a drink or whatever, and and then mm -hmm. uh, scurry on back. Yeah, no, you, uh, you, you, yeah, but you, Lyle, you look at Lyle, uh, Hyle, sorry, but, and get a read of it. You feel as if she has something to talk about from money wise. Ah, oh, that makes Ooh. sense. Ooh. Uh, what uh, what level are we talking here? Let's go with a four. A four, okay, makes sense. Four out of four, okay. Uh, let me let me make sure edited and controlled by all players. I will remove that at the end of this, of course. But yes, mm -hmm. you can you can now see. Yes, there's a four. There's a four, and then the door jingle jangles open again. And you recognize someone, actually, Delilah. Hey, <laughs> he kind of waves. Oh, this place is open, Grim. That's honestly wonderful. I was hoping for some food. Well, we are most certainly able to assist with that. If you've got anything in mind that tickles your fancy, I'm sure we could whip it up for you, sir. <laughs> That'd be great. Thanks. He gets a big smile on his face. He starts to he starts to move past, moving towards the last unoccupied table. You get a sense of this man. What is weighing on his soul? It seems more weighty. Yes, this one. This is an ideological issue. <laughs> mm. That actually worked out very well. <laughs> like uh, that was that that was not intentional, actually. Uh, Grice sits down. Um, so, Delilah, you've got a second to plan. Who goes where? All right. Uh, obviously, I will send Joy to talk to Hyle uh, because Excellent. he's got that he's got that uh, five red, so he's yeah. he's good to go for that. Oh, thank fuck! I didn't think that's in character. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah looks to Delilah is like, where the hell are you gonna send me? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I will I will send Jeremiah to talk to Garai. And Delilah <laughs> bite the bullet? Okay. Delilah will bite the bullet and talk to I mean, they're, they're friends. They are. I I respect you so much, Delilah. <laughs> this boy, I, I might have just jumped immediately into, like, Halo legendary mode, but, like, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. You're like, boy. oh, Kantia, and, and Joy just puts a hand on your shoulder and says, you are the bravest woman I've ever met before going off the aisle. Thank you, dear. <laughs> oh, man, j just to double check, Garai's pronouns are... Kive. Okay, okay, yeah. it is, okay. I was really yeah, concerned it's, it's for Kive. a moment. Uh, no, uh, so, oh boy, we're gonna, we're gonna start a good old round over here. So, over, uh, over by Garai and Jeremiah, uh, they start discussing something, and Garai, Garai has, like, a same old, same old implacable motherfucker of a look on his face. He, he actually shares something pretty intense with Jeremiah almost immediately. Yeah, uh, so I was hoping to talk to you, because, well... Actually, rumor has it you're one of the funniest people in the city. Second funniest person in the city. Second? Yeah. <laughs> Second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some new guy over at the comedy club who's supposed to be a laugh riot. Oh, that guy. You know what? I'm fine to lose to him. <laughs> you know, I, I like to think he and I have a lot in common. <laughs> oh my god. Garai uh, has a big smile on his face and they go like, well, I was actually hoping for some advice because like, here's the thing. I want to wanna tell a joke, but uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not very funny. I can like, I can make the faces, but in terms of landing a joke, I don't know how to do it. And there's one guy out of everyone. I, I kind of made it a lifelong goal of mine to get him to laugh someday. And years and years have gone by, and not once has his face cracked. Hmm. Okay. Well, obviously one of the things is timing. That's a big one, you know. But, like, I, I, a thing that's important here is, like, who is this person you're trying to crack? Ah, his name's Julius Tear. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, back when I was with the Tide, I used to take care of him all the time. I was like a, I was something like his mentor or master. Garai gets a really goofy look on his face. But, uh, well, he outstripped me pretty quick, actually. That, that kid's talented, but I, I always had a promise. Someday I'm going to make that, I, I'm going to make him laugh. It's going to be me. <laughs> well, 
Here's the thing about when it comes to comedy and things of this sort. It's good to have that drive, that that goal to make people laugh. But if you try too hard, that's when it normally falls flat. You kind of just got to roll with it. Wait for the opportunity and then go for it. Uh, the, the big thing I've found, too, is that if in your head you think it's funny, the longer you wait, the less likely it's actually going to be funny. So try to jump in there, but don't be rude about it, you know? <laughs> well, actually, I haven't seen Tyr in a while, so I've been cooking a bunch of jokes, but they, they might have actually already spoiled. <laughs> he, gets, he gets a horrified look on his face. I'm going to drop this by one for everyone. Okay. <laughs> Doink. Doink. Uh, Jeremiah's doing fucking great. Jeremiah's oh, yeah. cleaning house. <laughs> uh, over here. Oh, yeah. These two. Tell me what's happening. Uh, so Hyle's like kind of sitting here and she's already like, she's honestly already ordered a bunch of food and whatnot. And she's kind of been yeah. munching this entire time. <laughs> and she's like, it's like, so, you're, you're like a, you're like a weird spy man, right? Uh, essentially, yes. But I also do other things. Mm, yeah. Yeah, actually, it's on talk about one of those other things. You, like, you, like, chat with people about, like, their businesses and stuff, right? And she keeps on eating. Yeah, I will sort of make connections if you got... And, uh, suggestions on business plans, basically. Hmm, mm. She, uh, keeps on eating. So, I got, I got kind of, like, a weird question for you. All right. What do you do when you have too much money? <laughs> and, and, you know what? Let's start with this. You put, uh, he brings, slaps a bread a basket of bread on the table, which he bought, which is basically the only thing he knows will help start to make a dent for Heil. <laughs> uh, should I mark it? Should I mark you both down by one and continue the conversation? Yeah, we're gonna be at this for a while. Yes, <laughs> understandable. <laughs> Up here, Kazuya, like looks across. How have you been? Like, wait, no. I shouldn't be doing that. That's not the point of tonight, is it? No, this is all about you, dear. But I appreciate your consideration. <laughs> he, uh, he smiles at you placidly. Well, in my case, hmm, bearing my soul, I, I have to admit I'm quite proud or I feel quite privileged to have the propi proprietor of this entire establishment speaking to me about my insignificant problems. He twirls his hair slightly. <laughs> and if you got anything else, I think it'd simply be an insult to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he loved that. <laughs> I'm gonna mark him down a point, but uh, like immediately, <laughs> God, fuck. <laughs> he uh, he he seems very like he seems positively like buttered up with that and like starts to actually mutter to himself oh, <laughs> oh, uh opal scoots on over as the round completes hey you want me to cook anything you know dear that might not be a terrible idea um let's see here you know what she looks over to kazuya is there anything you're feeling for tonight it's made Ooh. specially for you sir <laughs> Hmm. Let's see how Kazi is feeling tonight. <laughs> this could potentially not assist him with his problems. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, he picked the one. He picked the one Ooh. that will help out with yellow. That makes a lot of sense. Um. Hmm. I'm in the mood for something nostalgic, honestly. Um. Hmm. Crosses his hands. Ah, uh, there was a delightful time that uh, <laughs> a dear, a dear relative of mine actually was telling me this gorgeous story, and he described the most plump and succulent <laughs> turkey. <laughs> he leans in. Do you have? Do you have some sort of fowl? Chicken, turkey, it doesn't matter. I am. I find myself with a mouth-watering, uh, mouth-watering hankering. Well, dear, I mean, if turkey is a part of that story he told you, I think it only makes sense to uh, do it again. And <laughs> maybe this time, really dazzle him next time you speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> your own turkey story won't <laughs> <far> superior. 
Uh, he described the face of someone he cared greatly about with the glistening moistness of a turn. And Opal's just like, no, yeah, I got a boss, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you go back around. Delilah, roll me a feast. In this case, you will need to clear a certain number on your yellow. If you want it to have an impact functionally, your yellow stat needs to roll higher than his current yellow stat. Oh, so you gotta beat a three uh, on your roll to die with your yellow. Oh. You do! So, oh. yeah, you managed, to, you managed to whip up this fantastic Hideo Fumikaze style turkey and you serve it to the rest of the, you serve it to the rest of the bar and everyone gets that plus one yellow boost. Uh, and Kazuya, in this case, gets that minus one yellow penalty, actually. Excellent. Delilah's ruthlessly efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, these two. Uh, Garai, like, Garai settles down a little bit, having learned some of this deeper comedy wisdom. What do you do if the guy you're targeting, though, doesn't really have a sense of humor? Like, I don't know if I've ever seen him laugh. Hmm. I think everyone's got a sense of humor. The one of the challenges is figuring out what tickles their funny bone. It varies from person to person. Uh, sometimes they like the more innocent, innocuous jokes, you know? Uh, sometimes they got a sick sense of humor, like that guy at the uh, comedy club. But... <laughs> Shut up, that's so funny, fuck you! <laughs> God but, damn it! <laughs> but, here's, here's the thing that might be worth trying sometime is maybe maybe don't try to make him laugh specifically if he's in a group of people tell jokes that you know land with others and see which ones click with him that way you can without targeting him specifically get an idea of what he likes ah that's the problem though he, he's never with a group of people he's always on his own it's like, oh uh, he's a loner yeah he's, he's like that thank Thanks for listening, by the way. <laughs> of course, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna mark you both down a point. <laughs> this is so mad at me. And Jack. <laughs> you two, so, how's it going over here? So I'm sorry. You say you keep your money in what? Oh yeah, like a hole in the wall. <laughs> Wasn't that a big secret? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's fine. <laughs> uh, do you, and you don't, you say you don't know how much is in, the, does that matter to you? I don't know, I know how much is in there. Oh, okay, okay, good. So it's loose, but you have an account of it. He slams back a drink of, it's water. But, um, okay, so that's a, it's definitely a novel problem. Um, uh, Okay, you know what? Do you have any hobbies? Let's start there. Do you have hobbies you would want? Because, like, those will eat up income like nobody's business. Hmm. Well, I like to go outside and dig holes sometimes. You find <laughs> weird stuff out there. I like to sleep on roofs. That's pretty fun. It's kind of thrilling, so you might fall off sometimes, you know? <laughs> you know, there's other stuff here that could be talked about, but we're focusing on the money right now, so let's keep talking about that. <laughs> You try to continue the conversation, but something is happening. What's this? This table is having a struggle. <gasps> not, uh, Heilstat does not decrease. Joyce, however, does. Da, da, da. <gasps> Delilah, your eyes sparkle. Oh no! <laughs> but, however, your attention is grabbed by Kazuya once again. <clears throat> Tell me, you grew up in this city, correct? I did. Do you ever yearn for the older days? Um, parts of the older days, yes. But, you have to admit, there's a lot of things from back in the day that, uh, they're pretty terrible, let's be frank. I think change is necessary, because what was good back then just doesn't work now. I mean, take for example, we didn't have the 13th Ward for quite some time, and I'd say it is a lovely addition to the city. It's a beautiful culture, and I learn so much every time I pop on by. Plus, I got to meet you. He, his smile widens again. Damn, Delilah's really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, like, his smile widens again. But in that case, if you don't, if you don't long for the olden days, 
what if there is someone you know who was trapped up in perhaps the old life? Uh, could it could be a friend, a family, a uh, family member, a, a lover? How do you how do you get over the pain of heartache? Delilah freezes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Well, it's challenging to be sure, and sometimes the heartache never really does go away. But sometimes it's not even because of love. It's just the pain that came with it just kind of lingers for a long, long time. But there is a medicine that can help with it, and that's other people. If you focus everything back on that one person, you're going to drown. But if you reach out for those, those lifesavers, those other people, whether that be family, friends, or maybe even just a pleasant person you met in the street, it can make you realize, hell, I didn't need him. <laughs> Delilah, do me a favor. Uh, give me a roll to die to determine her emotional state after giving that speech. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. You know what? That works. That's the future. Give me a roll to do. Mm -mm -mm. It's my weaker one, but... Okay. Mm. Let me roll for Kazuya. Oh, no. Let me give this a shot. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Kazuya actually listens deeply to this, and it feels like you get through extremely clearly. Hmm. I don't know if you're reading my mind or... No, no, no. My mind was never so clear or well-spoken. <laughs> his, uh, his smile widens, and uh, you get the feeling you told him exactly what he wanted to hear. <laughs> he, he, gets a, he gets like an almost like a deep reflective look on his face. I... I feel emotionally satisfied to a certain degree. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I wish to continue the conversation. Oh, of course, dear. I mean, <laughs> why on earth would I show away a good conversation? He he looks delighted over here. <laughs> 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 yeah. So yeah, that's really when it gets down to it. He's got he's got what he's interested in, but he's so into it that other people sort of pushes them away and like we used to be able to connect over swords too but uh he surpassed me pretty quick so like i don't know the group stuff isn't gonna work i need i need a joke that'll land just for him isolated that he is hmm oh boy you know personally i've never been a fan jeremiah like leans to this chair a bit i've never been a fan of someone i'm going oh knock knock you know like that <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> you know, I don't. I just don't like that kind of shit. Like, yes. or they, they they prompt you. You know, it, it feels forced. <laughs> yeah, I, I kept coming at him with different jokes. I kept trying my material on him. I kept I kept trying the faces, but uh, he eventually just uh, asked me to stop and said it was annoying. <laughs> see, that's what happens. You're getting yeah. pushy with it. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh boy. You know, it, it's. This is gonna sound narcissistic, and it's not the, meant to be that way at all. I don't really try to be funny. It just kind of happens, you know? Um, but of course, that's just a different technique, like your sword techniques or whatever the hell you kids do. <laughs> so the key is that effortlessness, huh? Yeah, finding what works for you. Um, you know, there's also practical jokes, but seeing as how stoic this guy is, I don't think gluing his sword to the sheath is going to be a good idea. Kirai <laughs> <laughs> lets out a very mean laugh. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll make you laugh, but it ain't going to make him laugh, and that that kind of defeats the point. So the key is relaxing, huh? Kirai starts to think to himself, Jeremiah, unintentionally, you've hit on one of Garai's three attributes, actually. Oh. His blue attribute, effortless. You managed to speak to some deeper part of Garai's soul. Allow me to, really quick. 
you have over advised him. He is extremely satisfied. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Jeremiah, you are you are thoroughly drained after that conversation, but taking a look at this guy's face, you feel like you've given him life advice that you will not only act on, you might have changed him. That was nice in comedy, huh? Yeah, I can do that. Thank you so much. Uh, you really good at this. Not only are you the second funniest guy in the city, you're also a great teacher. He holds his hand out. <laughs> Jeremiah happily reaches across the table and shakes it very genuinely right back at you. And if it means anything, you do have a lot of good faces. So I think, <laughs> like, and, and the thing is, you weren't even trying. You were just having a conversation with me. So again, let me, I can't stress this enough. Don't worry about telling jokes. I think the first thing you gotta do is get him comfortable with you. <sighs> you're right. Yeah, <laughs> that's a whole different issue, but <laughs> maybe I'll come back and talk to you about it. D give me updates. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel very good about how much you impressed Garai. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah reaches into his jacket and reaches across the table. And if you knock him dead, I happen to be in that business, too. <laughs> Oh, oh, like fucking <laughs> <laughs> Over here, these two continue on. So do you have any business expenses? Like, uh, out of pocket for, for delivery? Mmm. No, not really. I mostly do it all on foot. The only thing I really have is my, uh, my one employee who, uh, who I pay, of course. Oh, well, there's an option. You could always consider, like, hiring others. Mm. Kyle, how's that okay. with you? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> <laughs> eh, fair enough. Uh, well, uh, there's also, in that case, it kind of comes down to: is there anything you want? Like, you're like sp spending the money on yourself is an option. I mean, is is there anything you want that you don't have right now? Hmm, anything I want. Uh, she's actually gonna roll to die really quick. Oh, boop. Oh, boop, boop. oh boy. Hell, uh, oh boy. Well, I guess I want more money. <laughs> <laughs> I want more or less money. <laughs> well, you see, what I want, and here's here, here's the here's the thing, actually. One one thing I really want to do, actually, is I want like so so there's like this newspaper stall really uh re really close to where we're at. Well, where where I'm at. It's uh, called the Grapevine, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah I want them people. to. I want them to give me their papers so I can deliver them. Huh? Have you approached them with this? Uh, no, but I have stolen the papers from the uh, delivery boy from them before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joy puts his tends his hands in front of him and appears to be having a miniature crisis. <laughs> Over <Joyful>. here! Yeah. <laughs> no, that's how it's going. Uh, yep. I'm gonna drop Joy by another one. Uh, yeah, he's fucked. <laughs> I've got your back, don't worry. <laughs> Over here. Uh, Kazi uh, continues on, like, genuinely just enjoying the conversation. Delilah, your eyes are fixed on this one. Like, you're already thinking about the next step to a certain extent. You're like, uh-oh. Uh, that one's going great, but uh-oh. Um, and uh, Kazi, uh, Kazi thinks about it. A little more. So, retaining to a certain extent that that feeling in your chest, that that sensation of having let someone go and refocusing it. How? Simply put, how do you show that? How do you show someone you care about them clearly? I mean, there's a variety of ways to do it, dear. I mean. What we're doing right now is one, just hearing them out. Letting them know that you are a shoulder to cry on if they need it, or just an ear to listen. There's also the simple opportunity of, and she takes a, a, cuts up the turkey a little bit and takes a bite, sharing a meal, which honestly leads into the first thing I mentioned. And honestly, I think it's safe to assume, knowing you especially, that they are already well aware that if they need a little help, they can swing on by. And I hope you feel the same way about them. He, uh, he gets a more difficult look on his face for a second. 
Due to my role as the Magistrate, I've actually had a hard time connecting with them. I've had a hard time connecting with anyone. How do you... When you're in a high position of power like that, how do you let someone who is below you know that you care? He, he seems to be actually deeply like... Like, you've cut to something pretty core to him. It seems like Kazuya is isolated due to his position. Delilah, how do you feel about that confession? Delilah has uh, a small smile and nods her head. Oh, I, I clearly misinterpreted that. And now that you've said that, I, I actually understand where you're coming from immensely. Um, maybe not for the exact same reason. You know, being the matriarch of the Deltanos. A lot of folks are terrified to talk to me, and worse yet, the history that follows my family. It has taken a long, long time. But I actively, despite the fact that sometimes I, I get a little disappointed with the response, I actively do kind gestures to folks so that they realize if I'm going out of my way, despite my position of power and who I am, to help them, well, maybe the the distance between us isn't nearly as great as they thought because I'm the one reaching out to them as if it, it, it sounds mean but it's not how I intend it as if I need them a bit more than they need me and honestly it might be true because <laughs> he uh, give me another roll to do uh, okay with uh, with uh, red again yes red would be whatever you've got as your swing right now give me another one he Okay, let's see. Oh, Let me roll for him. Do Delilah, I... honey, you gotta roll a little better, dear. Kazuya looks immensely satisfied. Oh. <laughs> this one. Uh, he, he leans in and... Uh, you do understand me, heck. Oh, um... <sighs> do that <laughs> he, um, he seems like honestly taken aback for a second oh I forgive me I feel like I I might burst into tears if I continue on with this line of conversation oh, <laughs> <He's>... oh, <dear. laughs> uh, Delilah quickly uh, slides across the table a handkerchief uh, and what she's actually going to do is she's going to sit here to like oh. block the view of others <laughs> yes I Turn it out, dear. I do understand that the necessity of my position uh, he's, he's like struggling to put, put words together <laughs> I think it spoke to me when you said the bit about potentially needing someone else more than they need they need you um, I oh. <laughs> he's like he's, oh. he's doing his best to keep it in to a certain extent <sighs> is is a meal really enough I know that's a that's probably a silly thing to ask when I am crying into your turkey, but is a meal really enough? It can be, if you say the right words with it. You just need to let them know just how much they mean to you. Kazuya, I, I mean this in the most polite way possible. I have never seen you like this before, and that is very telling how much this person means to you. And if you say, if you say what you need to from the heart, they are gonna get it, dear. They are going to understand because look at you. Oh, Kazuya just quietly nods along. <laughs> Fucking the the snake man wilts and just like he listens to your words as well, it's it's rare for him. He he listens to your words as an equal, actually, and he seems to respect that a lot, and he he just he goes along with it, and then um sort of stands up. <sighs> Delilah, you are correct. <laughs> I I believe my honesty and the openness of my heart will win through. <sighs> if it does not, may I come back to your establishment and bear my heart once more? Of course, dear. And I was actually just about to, to, to suggest, if you'd like, why don't you bring him on down for her, here for a nice night? If you were able to feel this confident in spilling your heart out here, maybe it wasn't just me. Maybe it was just 
knowing this was a safe place. Maybe it'll work for them too. He looks up and around. I have to admit, despite being so unusual to my usual aesthetics, this place has an atmosphere that cannot be denied. You have a gorgeous establishment here, and I will gladly return to patronize it once more. <laughs> well, you'd only add to the beauty, dear. He stands up, and with that, the round ends. And in this case, the two that have been thoroughly dealt with exit the picture. And Delilah, you notice someone hasn't left yet. In fact, <laughs> someone is struggling over there in the corners. <laughs> Uh, Opal moves back out. Oh, boss, you're free. Yes, um, dear. Um, if anything, can you, uh, provide more drinks over there? It is very apparent that young lady loves food. I <laughs> will enter the kitchen. And she looks over at Jeremiah. Jeremiah's like, don't worry, I know what to do. <laughs> and he, like, very, uh, quickly scurries over. Hey! Excuse me, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Mind if I uh, accompany you? Joy has the menu up in his face, turns to Jeremiah and mouths, Help! <laughs> those two, those two begin to conspire. Meanwhile, Opal over here, Yeah, you're helping the kitchen would be great. And, um, actually, uh, we got it up and running again, boss. Motion's back over to here. The jukebox. That's right! Delilah. I don't know if I don't know if Delilah does this, but the option is available. Delilah, at any point, if you wish to take to the stage and sing gorgeous music to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the bar, you will simultaneously lower absolutely everyone's uh, like a difficulty rating. This uh -huh. is a reward for Delilah finishing first, since. In your ah. case, nothing progresses automatically. You gotta fucking earn it. You chew through people, and afterwards, you can feel free to either take to the kitchen, as you've surmised, and simultaneously lower everyone's scores of food, or you can take to the karaoke and actually sing along, providing that crucial ambiance to help focus everyone down at the same time. Interesting. Okay, so weird question, and yeah. happily say no. Delilah's feast ability has upgraded that if she watches someone eat, she yes. knows what her favorite food is. Yes. Hyla's eaten an ass load of food. She sure has. I don't even <laughs> determine what her favorite is to give Opal the direction to make it while I sing. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Um, uh, so if you look at uh, Hyle's World Anvil page, you can see her favorite food on there. Where in which you can see her favorite food is anything that she can get her hands on. Ooh. Hands on. I want hand food. <laughs> I want, I want uh. chicken wings. I want sandwiches. I want only things that have no use for utensils. Opal, Opal gives you a salute and scoots back. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah. And then you move up there. And um, basically, the way that this is going to work is we are going to, we're going to continue on with this train of thought. And then... Uh, Delilah, jump in literally whenever when you want to cut it off with some karaoke. Sure. I won't personally sing. And actually oh, this no. Works out well, uh, because when Delilah gets up there, she she's like getting the mic ready and then she kind of freezes because she's like, I haven't sung in front of people in a long time. Oh. Yep. <laughs> she, the only time she ever really sings is one-on-one -on -one or to herself. So oh. this is like, uh, she's got to prepare herself. That's excellent. Let's do... Uh... Let's do, yeah, this one. So, uh, the discussion sort of continues over here. Actually, this one's more energetic. You know, you, uh, uh, Jeremiah, as you come over, you can kind of look, you kind of look over and you can get the vibe from Heil that she's getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> so, your problem stems from having too much money. Mm-hmm. I wish that was my problem. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. she's, she's continues eating whatever food she's ordered so far. Yeah. Why'd you get into delivering things anyway? Oh, because someone had to, because the city was in an absolute fire hellhole for like months. 
<laughs> You're right. And actually, that reminds me. Thank you very much for stepping up for that. And you've done an excellent job, if it means anything. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> right. Well, all the same, though, like, you, I'm sure Joy has maybe already mentioned that. So I apologize if I'm stepping over things that's already been discussed. But if you got the no, extra income. <laughs> mm, so, yeah, so you, you're not interested in extra help. That's interesting. Is it because you're worried about getting a little too competitive? Hmm. You see, um, she continues eating. I, I honestly take a fair bit of pride in being the only one who does this. Ah, I see. Well, I mean, to be fair, you do a bang up job, so really, do you even need help? Mm. So, I apologize for the stupid question. I, it's all making sense now to me. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, yeah. well, I just don't know what to do with all of it. I have it sit there, it's piling up, and eventually it's going to start spilling out of the hole in the wall. Then it won't be much of a secret anymore, will it? <laughs> you know Consider what could a be... bank account? A bank account's a good idea, but you deliver all of this, all these uh, letters and whatnot. Why don't you deliver a good day? Just pick some random person, anybody at all that tickles your fancy, and just deliver some money. Hmm. Uh, she kind of thinks about that for a little bit. That might be fun. Yeah, and consider this. I know there's the newspaper, but that's always the bad news. You want to deliver that? Nah, <laughs> you deliver the good news. A fat stack of cash. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, yeah. I just look so fucking relieved. Uh, you know what? You keep going. I'll be. I'll, I'm gonna go grab some more from the. I'm gonna go grab some more of your your food. Thank you, time, buddy. <laughs> nah, I've been using that word a lot. It's like a it's like a catchphrase at this point, buddy. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, Joy's actually gonna come up and check on Delilah if he can do that mid round. Oh yeah. So, uh, uh, Jimin, does uh, does uh, uh, red drop at all at the suggestion? Yeah, by one point. Excellent. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, and then we will check up on Delilah. Excellent suggestion. Up here. Hey. Uh, I notice you kind of you look like you got a little bit of the butterflies. You doing all right? Uh, enough to fly away. Um. It's, it, it's just, it's not that I'm not confident in my singing. I, I think I'm all right. You know, I ain't going to blow anyone's mind. Um, I ain't going to live up to the name Siren, though. Um, but uh, it's, you know, I just, I, I guess I don't really know what kind of song to sing. He pops himself up on the corner, sits on the edge of the stage. Uh, what you feeling? <laughs> uh, well, I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. Um, we've made a lot of progress with different folks, and I think that's the best I've ever connected with Kazuya. <laughs> like, yeah, that was incredible. Thank you, dear. I just really am processing that right now. So, um, but I, I still got the nerve. So, maybe, maybe something soft. Um, Tell you what. You say you're feeling good. You did, and you, and I think that uh, is a good thing. You did good tonight. So, same expression, you know. You're want to do a good job. That's fine. But the best way to do a good job is to just express what you're feeling, what you're really feeling. I think. Now, if you want to warm yourself up with something soft, absolutely go for it. Don't, because uh, the other thing about it is it's meant to be fun. So, yeah, hmm. I would just say, if you're feeling happy, sing something happy. Let the world I, know. I am feeling a bit of joy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Over I'm, here. Over I, I know I make that joke all the time, dear, but it's it's so easy, and you're so Everybody pleasant. does. Don't worry. It, on, it delights me every time. <laughs> well, good. I am so, so easily amused. <laughs> so, so Delilah, give me a roll for your feast first of all. Sure. You gotta beat a red two. You beat a red two. So I actually think you're locked in from before. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Oh, uh, I'm so dro sorry. Drop that color. That is my bad. Uh, no, that's drop, that's not me. I should know that. Eat. Beat that red two. Just don't roll a one. Dude. Five. Oh. So you go around and yeah, finger foods. They go over great. Pile. This is great. There's so much food. So much fucking food in front of you. It's really nice. I didn't even order this. 
<laughs> well, I mean, that's because the head of the Del Tano family, Jeremiah, gestures to the uh, stage, thought you might appreciate something like this. Mm, that's and really as, nice. And as you turn around and look, Delilah, tell me how you sing. Uh, Delilah, the, the way she sings is like old, like 1920s, 30s. Um, that is like the exact energy she always, I mean, that's how she dresses too, you know, um, yeah. with like the very nice dresses. And honestly, like the song that you're playing right now, um, <laughs> is like exactly the kind of energy for her singing where it's like, it's very slow and it, I can't stress this enough. Delilah is not like an amazing blow your socks off singer, but she's one that you're like, yeah, that's nice. It's a mom singing that happens to be pretty good. Aww. Great vibe. Um, yeah, so in this case, your red functionally goes out and it applies to everyone. And Kyle, mm -hmm. it's kind of nice. Just sitting here listening to music and eating. Oh, this is feeling pretty good. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, this place is really fancy. This is eating. Yeah. The siren's been around for a while. It's, um, unfortunately, hasn't really garnered nearly as much attention as we'd like. If, if only more people knew about it. If, if someone could just spread the word, I just, uh, <laughs> God, it, it would, it would, it would help us a lot, you know? Hmm. Uh, she eats the food, and uh, Jeremiah, if you realize, she has not picked up on what you're putting down at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah she's... realizes this. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mentioned earlier about delivering good news? Yeah. Well, could you help deliver the good word to the public about this place? I mean, you know everybody in town, and... Mm. You chitty chat with folks, give them a little heads up that this place exists, and hell, you're a testimonial. You like this place, right? Good food, good music, good atmosphere, good people. Mm. And you're one of them. Ah, oh, that's really nice of you to say. Yeah, I can, I can maybe do that. You know, actually, something that I have learned while delivering a lot that's actually really helpful is getting like a pamphlet or a flyer, just sticking those around. People love that. Hey, that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. See, you're the expert in this department. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys, like, print up some or something and then, like, drop them off by the mail office, I can just send those out. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah is crossing through his brain. Do I have the balls to ask her to spend her money for the advertisement so she has something <laughs> to spend her money on? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeremiah's like, ah, I got two options in my head. Fucking Paragon or Renegade right now. Where am I, I going? Angel or a devil? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how Heil would react to that. Mm. Oh, I, is, is there anything I can roll to, like, approximate how her response would be? Give me a good old roll to die. Yeah. Uh, oh. I, I will, I will use... Is... Oh, yeah? This is an uninitialized Jeremiah. Use use Delilah, please. Yeah, I was just about to say. So I will I will drop her swing real quick. Yeah. Um, and then I will roll to die. Beep beep. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, you get a you get a read with those stats. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Jeremiah nods. Yeah, yeah. Um a dumb question, just because I don't specifically know where I do that specifically. Uh, do you have a printer that could handle that? Like, we could start up a little uh, uh, transaction there, or is there somewhere else you'd suggest? Hmm. I don't have a printer, but uh, I happen to know some folks who uh, work down by the uh, by the docks. Uh, VLA Shipping Agency, I think they're called. Uh, they got Ooh. they got they got like a bunch of stuff there, and I think they do printables as like a side service. Ah, good to know. I wasn't aware of that actually. That's Interesting. Well, thank you very much for that. I'll, I'll have to have a chitty chat with them and, um, you know, I'd, I'd love to pop on by and get this all squared away for delivery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just tell him, uh, just, just tell a guy at the front that I sent you and he'll probably get scared and do it for you anyways. <laughs> scared, huh? Well, I'm used to that myself. Mm. <laughs> uh, thanks for the advice, Mr. Man. I didn't know your name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Where are my manners? Uh, Jeremiah extends his hand. Jeremiah Deltana. Hmm. Shakes your hand. Hi, I'm Heil. Hi, Heil. That's fun to say. Hi, hi. Mm. <laughs> she, uh, she stands up. Well, this was really nice. You come on back anytime, you know? And, mm. um, we'll, we'll, we'll chitty chat with you sometime, uh, uh, again. For whatever problems might, uh, might ail you. Yeah, no, uh, she kind of nods her head and, uh, she walks on out. Delilah gives a very polite wave. Yeah. Yeah. As... Really fast before, <laughs> uh, before, uh, before you continue. Uh, once again, Will, as uh, Delilah rolled a die one more time. Oh, oh. all right. I will drop the swing. Oh, God. Uh, roll two die. Okay. You don't notice anything. It's fine. No. Oh. I, I, die? I don't know can, what that is. Can <laughs> Jeremiah roll? <laughs> oh, you can. Go for it. Oh, all right. I will roll Let for him again. Was Jeremiah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. They don't see shit. Oh, <laughs> So, oh, I will God, tell you, out of character, I will tell you what just happened here. Um, so, uh, Heil has a special stat when she when she is involved in this minigame. Uh, can you take us over to the uh, decks, please, Jay, so I can show you them really quick? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> so, oh, actually, quick question. I've had a feast. Oh. Can oh. I boost my, my roll to die? Oh! Oh yeah, you uh, can. Yeah, no, you can do that. You can boost it up. Yeah, um, I. What did I have earlier? It was like a. You did set the feast. Uh, you grabbed a. I believe. Let me double check your scores. You grabbed, I believe, like a red four. Let's sub in the red four. For that would bring it up to an eleven. Yeah. That's I thought we had a yellow feast too. Damn. Hmm. Because Akazia. Oh well, that's fine. Yeah. 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 Uh. Let me go down to, uh, where are you? Kyle. Um, uh, let me... I'm pinging try. for ease of look. Yeah. I so, can't. Yeah, you go. Uh, if you look at Kyle on the, uh, decks here, you will notice a very certain thing with her. She has a trait. Steals. She steals. <laughs> Whenever Kyle comes by your business, she might steal something. <laughs> Did Kyle steal something? You know that blue light on the table? <laughs> <laughs> Which where the, that? Oh, she stole that. that. She <laughs> took that. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, you realize it after she's left. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, we had a happy customer, and a light bulb's easy to get. <laughs> Rich as hell. <laughs> wow, that's that's honestly pretty ballsy stealing from the Deltano family, huh? That's why, that's why I'm not gonna do anything. If she's got the nuts to do that, I ain't gonna fuck with her. <laughs> Everybody gathers up. Great work, boss! Your singing's gorgeous! Seriously, oh. you killed it out there. Well, uh, thank you very much. Aww. That's very nice to hear. Uh, Y'all did a lovely job as well. Oh, uh, I completely biffed it on that last one. I'm gonna be real. Oh, dear, don't sell yourself short. No, I'm serious. I don't know what it was, but every time she was like, yeah, I like to sleep on roofs, and all I could think is, but what if you fall off and die? And she's like, yeah, yeah, that's the fun part. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's a part of this business that makes it so challenging. Uh, I really don't know the woman very well, and it sounds like we threw you a hell of a curveball first, so I'd say you, you kept her entertained long enough to work together with others, and that's what yeah. this is all about. You know, I think I had a winner with when I brought the bread out the first time. I should have just stuck with that. <laughs> uh, you had the instinct to do that. Come on, you're selling yourself short, dear. Well, thank y'all. Um, I I hope you can stop by for uh, like th the actual siren song Saturdays because like this went over great, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be coming back. I I would love to, and obviously I will. Uh, uh, check well beforehand with both of you um, to see if you're interested. Uh, again, thank you so much for popping on by it's just on such short notice. Ah, oh, heck, it was it was fun. I mean it. I had a great time. He kind of twirls with his hair. Yeah, I can't exactly guarantee I can do this as a regular thing, but you of know. Of course. I mean, hey, this might be a good chance for you to be a spy or whatever. And she just gives you a little <laughs> hip check. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have other jobs, you know. Don't don't spy while you're here. <laughs> I was, this is a place where people come to like talk about their problems. That would be super shitty of me. Good, we're on the same page then. <laughs> I mean, that's a great time to learn. You have any idea what I used to learn at funerals? My God. <laughs> Opal like leans back into Jeremiah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta tell me some stories sometimes. I was overhearing you you've lived a storied life, haven't you? I sure have. <laughs> you doing anything? I'll serve you a drink. You know what? Hell yeah. Come here, buddy. You are a fascinating person. <laughs> I've got that job. I'm really glad that we we finally you know what? I I didn't get to like actually truly introduce myself to you. Jeremiah Del Tano. I had suspected. Joy Lark, pleasure to meet you and at, on amicable terms. <laughs> Were you concerned they wouldn't be? <laughs> uh, thinks about how the last time he was at a party and almost basically got the Deli made Delilah super upset. It had occurred to me. Joy, as you do that, you notice that uh, Opal behind the counter starts shining a glass incredibly loudly. So there's a squeak as you go, ah, which is like, don't be rude to the fucking boss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, slightly fearful for my life, but that's, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, Joy, buddy, you should know at this point, we Deltanos are not interested in the darker side of this business we we'd never be a killjoy <laughs> see i should be that should have sent off alarm bells but i can't help it i i i, I just found it funny <laughs> see that's the thing no one's scared of me i'm a joke i would say that you're man the more i get to know you know everyone here he kind of like puts a like strokes his chin I'm learning a shitload about people. Well, good. And you really don't get the same vibe hearing about people as you do meeting them. I'm really glad I got the chance to meet both of you. It's it... made me a better person, for one thing. Well, that's great to hear. It's honestly all we can ask for with the Deltanos, seeing as, I mean, we're broken records about it, but the history of the Deltano family ain't exactly pretty. And no. all we ask is we ask people to give us a shot. It's the same thing with Gylardia. Oof, you're not kidding. Honestly, though, I'm not gonna... It, it kind of says, well, I mean, Galardia... Going by, you know, the business I've seen you folks do and the business Galardia does, you kind of might be more worthy of a chance than we are sometimes. Delilah actually uh, walks on by and smiles. I would actually like to be the judge of that, if you don't mind. Sometime I'd like to speak with the Admiral. Oh, well, uh, he thinks about it. You know what? I think I could set that up. Don't really? get, like, you may have noticed Galardia. I mean, I'm not subtle about it. I'm not subtle about anything. <laughs> Twirls. But, um, <laughs> Galardia ain't exactly eager to get into Riviera business. But, uh, if it's you specifically, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna put a word in. I'd really appreciate that, dear. <laughs> And as Jeremiah walks on by and is actually out of earshot, Delilah comes up close. Besides, they might be more interested in working with someone who's not Riviera for long. <laughs> Kinda eyes widen at that. I'm gonna keep... I'm going to not have heard that. <laughs> but, he also but he also kind of smiles at you and goes, Hey, good luck. I'm gonna need as much as I can get, dear, so thank you. And she just Tell puts a finger what. up to her lips and just like, of course, I know you're a good man and you won't go spreading false rumors. And she just winks. Oh, heavens no. Good, <laughs> good, good heavens no. Do you know the sort of trouble that might get someone into? <laughs> I know to get me in trouble. Ugh. He says, you know, if I didn't hear that, maybe you don't have to hear this. If you need a hand, not from Gylardia, but from someone who knows you're a good person. Drops a business, you've got that business card. I do. Thank you, dear. And right back at you if there's anything I can help you with. Ah, uh, I've got my own, I, I'm an, I, don't worry, I, I'm big enough to handle my own troubles. That's true, but it doesn't hurt to get a hand every once in a while. Besides, she gestures to the bar, uh, who are you? 
Uh, sorry, I lost that to internet. Oh, she she just gestures around the bar. Besides, I owe you. Oh heck, you don't owe me anything. I got as much out of this as you did, if it, <laughs> not more. See, the thing is, see Kyle leans on the bar. I meant it when I said this was exactly what I needed tonight. I I do. I've been busy. Uh, you know, get, there's a lot of work to do, both in and out of Guy Lardia's books, but I just like the city, and. I think I'd go a little bit whack if I didn't get a chance to do what I needed to do. And that's people. I like people. And this has been super important to me. That is wonderful to hear, dear. I knew there was more I liked about you. Aw, oh, heck. <laughs> heck, even the male girl. I mean, I don't understand that crap anything about her, but, you know, I understand more than I did this morning, so I think that's a victory, even if it wasn't exactly, a uh, practical one. <clears throat> well, I mean, you're not gonna understand everyone you meet the first time you meet them, especially oh, if they're no. like, and th I don't mean this to be rude at all, because I didn't speak with her. She did sound very unique. <laughs> I have no understanding of that person! Don't get me wrong, that's kind of awesome, but Holy crap! <laughs> well, tell you what, she swings on by again, why don't I call you? You can try again. You know what, if you'd be willing to take a risk on me again, I'd be down for that. I'd like to get to know her better. I'd like to do a better job of helping her with, any, with, with problems. I don't think there's much risk in asking for a little joy. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Oh, I love his bond up. It's so It's pretty. really good. Oh, thank you. You know what? I think I'm going to follow some of my own advice. Joey's going to hop up to the karaoke machine Aww. and plug in something incredibly sappy and earnest. And it would honestly sound fucking corny, and it still does a bit. But he fucking delivers it with his entire being, and Aww. damn if he isn't carrying the t carrying the tune. You guys, you guys settle in for the night, and uh, Delilah, you are more than welcome back to assist on Siren Song Saturdays. This unlocks your mini game in full. There's also another little mechanic I'd like to uh, discuss with this. I want you to roll me a one d six minus one. Oh, all right. Uh... Six minus one. Uh, ooh, interesting. Okay. Oh. Uh, then do it again. Okay. Uh, boop. <laughs> okay, fun. Uh, and then roll a normal 1d6. Okay. D6. That is a five. Oh, ooh, five. a five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, fun. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And a zero. Okay, that's interesting set. Um, okay, cool. That determined who is going to hear about the success of the siren and who your applicants will be for next time. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a fun thing to check out. Um, however, for now, we are going to we're gonna we're gonna let it end off here. And will, whenever you want to do another siren song Saturday, just chill out, like do another one of these streams. Yeah. I'm happy to do one. These are great. <laughs> I I would love to do this anytime. That was just fun and exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Where it's yeah. just shooting the shit, shooting the shit, and being good at this. But that doesn't mean we're uh, we're actually done for tonight. There's one more thing you need to do. You um, you wind up finishing up with the with the bar. It's not going to be open up all night. Like these aren't normal hours. This is just no. this is your test run. Um. Uh, and a lot of people actually drop by for just a, a spur of the moment thing. Galahad sprinting around and yelling at people really helped. Um, <laughs> but you've actually got a, you've got something else to do elsewhere. Mm, yes, indeed. You manage to catch up with Doris and you head on over to a shop that's it's not just before closing, so you're not like a rude ass, but like <laughs> you're, you're in like the twilight hours where nobody really shows up to begin with. And you come in. Oh, I don't think we've ever seen this yeah. map. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Quality map. No, uh, you come into a little shop off the side of Hull Street. Uh, it's it's kind of rare, actually, that uh, that there's, like, basically a blacksmith, especially set up at, uh, ever since the weapon ban. 
two years ago, you're not really supposed to carry around swords or anything like that without, like, a proper license. Don't worry, Doris is properly licensed. Of course. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, for the most part, weapon sales have fucking tanked. Nobody carries a sword these days. Uh, so, most of what you can get at Song Shop is decorative. He insists you call it that. <laughs> he, uh, he sort of stands up. Hey, uh, welcome in. Uh, and then moves over. Oh. Oh, you're back. Uh, excellent. Is it time? Yes, indeed, dear. And thank you so much. Uh, I, I realize it's, it's a bit late in the day. I, I got caught up with something, so I really appreciate this. <laughs> no problem. Uh, you're giving me business at these hours. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> honestly, I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> he, he's sort of like, he, he gestures to the, to the table in front of him. Well, I've actually got a few samples of uh, what might interest you, but like, if anything attracts your attention, please. He, he motions over to the uh, he motions over to the table. Display racks are over there, and uh, he he slams basically like what appears to be a uh, a morning star down on the table. And oh, I've also heavens. got a few things that I've been working on on the side. Doris right. is child in candy store she is her eyes are glued to everything she's going over every single piece takes her several minutes to come over to the counter because she just gets distracted <gasps> oh my heavens oh mama mama just look at look at the work on this look at the detailing on the spikes mama <laughs> it looks so very dangerous. It's lovely. <laughs> We've got a wide variety, a bunch with like different heads. Like you've, trust me. <laughs> it slams another one down on the table. You want oh any sort God. of flail or mace? We've, we've got more. them. <laughs> oh my, oh, these are just gorgeous. But uh, just picking them up and running the chain and examining everything. I don't suppose, I, I know this is a bit of a, uh, Oh, hello. She just like looking at each one. Slam. Of... Oh. oh, hello there. <laughs> Picks this one up. It's just like feeling the weight of it. Oh, this is a delightful piece. Uh, and, and I've learned recently that um these two over here are flails and that one is a mace. And she looks quite <laughs> proud of herself and might still be wrong. So Song like Song winks at you and gives you like a thumbs up at the corner of his eyes. <laughs> and Doris is like looking like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely spot on, Mom. Oh my heavens. Yeah, she's drawn to this one with the big spikes and the biggest one. <laughs> oh, this one's weight is just absolutely delightful. You know, I'm, wow, I must admit, these are some hand. fine pieces. But these, these are uh, the ones that are less uh, lengthy. They tend to they tend to feel a bit light in my hands. Hard yeah. to get, hard to get a good blow in with them. I was, I was about to say, for the most part, uh, he looks down at the fucking two-hander that you're picking up in one. <laughs> most, uh, that's 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 balanced to be held with two hands. Uh, if you're gonna hold it with one, give me a sec. <laughs> oh. He, oh he picks it, he picks it up and moves back over to the anvil and like actually starts to like he he takes a look at it and you notice something about like the way his craftsmanship uh craftsmanship works he like undoes a binding and you notice actually slatted into the sides are what appear to be different weights song is incredibly precise when it works on uh when like when when it comes to works of art like this uh this is balanced so you won't lose hold of it basically to strike with a, a little bit extra chunk seeing you lift it in one hand he's like yeah, I guess you could pick that up in one hand, but to a certain extent, a lot of the extra weight I put behind it is completely unnecessary now, so let's move that around. And he actually starts to re-customize the mace to make it fit just a little bit better. Uh, oh, the heavens, you are an artisan, sir. He, he nods along and he, you notice something. He starts to actually, he lets out a quiet whistle as he starts to move around, oh. reshaping the mace immediately in front of you. And then let's hit it with a roll to do. Okay, yeah, you get a, he manages to actually put together a, like, it's, you, this isn't like the Mace of the Gods, but this is exactly what you ordered, in fact. Um, oh my like, heavens. For, to re-clarify, this is what you would have ordered, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, he, he like, he slams it down and then hands it over. There, try it now. 
picks it up, turns the other way, and gives it a few practice swings. Oh my! Oh my! This is absolutely phenomenal! Oh heavens! <laughs> yeah, that one. That one, I, I gotta admit, I didn't expect to sell it anytime soon. Oh, but well, this is a work of art, sir. <laughs> Very few people would actually agree with you these days. Uh, <laughs> thanks, though. Like, seriously, thanks. Uh, I, I must admit, I, I really don't understand the process, but it was it was genuinely fascinating watching you modify that. It, it, it reminded me of just kind of cooking in a way. So <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, how long have you been doing this? Uh, in fact, what got you into this? He, he, uh, <laughs> he kind of, like, lets out a chuckle. I, uh, actually, I used to be, uh, used to be part of the Gallardian Navy. Uh, I, I tried to get set up doing, uh, maintenance work because it's, it's just something I've had a passion for. Like, uh, I don't know, I've always been enthusiastic about different weaponry, but, uh, <laughs> my eyes were a little too good. So, uh, they put me on sniper duty and, uh, had to spend a lot of time just hanging out on the upper decks, taking theoretical shots at pirates someday, but uh, I never saw any action. He just, he just shrugs. So, just the same, I was officially a sniper on paper, but in practice, I was, I was more or less a maintenance boy. So like, he, he looks back over to the mace. Making something like that is kind of nice because it lets me break tradition, you know? When you're doing maintenance on particularly like swords, sabers, etc., they all have to fit sort of a, an expectation. Navy wanted the same thing out of you each and every day, but being able to make a custom piece, especially for someone with, um, I don't know how else to put it, someone with as impressive strength as you, uh, she beams. is quite a rarity in itself. Uh, and he turns over and looks at you, Delilah. Just the same. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming in the other day and letting me talk your ear off. It's kind of rare to find someone who's genuinely interested in all the terminology who doesn't already know. Normally, they come in to kind of snob at me, but uh, it was it was really fun to just have someone sit and listen. So, like, you guys are welcome anytime. <laughs> who on earth is snobbing at you, sir? <laughs> Weapon aficionados. They're uh. What? Uncouth. <laughs> no, no, I get it. I. He, he puts up his hands. People got a certain way they like making things. It's, uh, call it pride. Blacksmith's pride. So when you see someone trying something different, you want to you wanna see how exactly they're doing it to see if your stacks up, like to see who makes the best weapon. But you guys coming in and buying something for me, it, uh, sort of lets me further my own craft and my own brand. So, uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, uh, it, again, I don't fully understand the process, what exactly do you do that's different? He, uh, he looks over. Uh, it ultimately comes down to the way I shape the metal. I'm not a, I'm not a mainlander. Like I said, I came from the Navy, uh, Guy Lardia before that. Um, he, like, looks at you and then puts up his hands. We don't have any ties anymore. It's just, uh, it's where I grew oh, up. Dear, I, I literally just spent a couple hours with a man from Gylardia. It I do not care where you're from. I only he, care that you are here. He seems visibly relieved at you saying that. Oh. Um, and, like, he, he relaxes back. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, I... The way the way Gylardi and smithing works is actually... It's a bit different. Um, he, he moves over and, like, actually shows off uh, what appears to be some sort of, like, long, pullable chain. It involves a lot more water than you might expect. Controlling the steam's a real pain in the ass, but once you get used to it, this rapid cooling, uh, looks back over. It's, in a lot of cases, it's, it breaks wind rosy metal, but you get a good supply of Gylardian metal, and yeah, it combines with the water real nice. He, he motions back over to the mace that you're holding. It leads to, actually, a lot of those cool shapes you see. They're not physical oh. things, but a lot of people would have to spend a lot of time creating those that sort of wave-like pattern. Um, oh, and he put and, and he puts up a sense again. And no, it does not affect structural integrity. Uh, oh, no, I, I, I'm hardly <laughs> about to question you, sir. These absolutely gorgeous works speak for your talent and skill. <laughs> Thanks. He smiles again. He, he seems to be enjoying this a lot. Besides, I only want the best for my baby girl. <laughs> Oh, Alma. <laughs> well, 
You'll, you won't find anything like that outside the fleet, and even then I can make something far better than the fleet can. Only weapons you'll find of this quality are the stuff they make over in the Tempest Armory. Uh, I hear they've got some really, really good... Uh, he sort of trails off. Oh, they got they got some talented people over there. But just the same, that can stand up to anything that they make. Well, well I, am, <laughs> I am terribly excited to test its metal. If you, oh, did you hear what I just did, Mama? <laughs> I heard, baby girl, I heard you, don't worry. But I would ask you, especially considering today, maybe <laughs> double check before you swing. <laughs> oh, but, look, blushes. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> Good. And I trust you. Don't worry. <laughs> and uh, I didn't ask, but if you get into any, these are purely decorative, of course. But uh, if you get into any fights with that, um, let me know. Let me know how it performs, okay? Oh, have no worries, sir. I have my permit right here. Presents it. <clears throat> oh, that uh, yeah. Your uh, your mom actually. Let me know. Just the same. I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to be. So, it's, it's, just let me know, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it completely goes over her head. You know, uh, Doris. Yeah. I just. I was thinking that is such a unique look to it. And if you were planning on actually gathering those knights for. Um, I was just the, thinking the same thing. It might not be a terrible idea if the equipment was more unified in its design so that uh, y'all look like you're a part of the same group. And what what better idea than such a unique design and keeping it local? Oh, by heavens. Oh, that is an even more fantastic idea than I was thinking. Oh, that is, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Song, out of curiosity, do you dabble in armor as well? armor yeah i uh it's mostly light stuff um but he takes a look at uh what doris is wearing i've been looking for any excuse to give something like that a shot he <gasps> he looks back over to you delilah and given who it's for it might see some actual practical use fun thing is it's mostly the nobility order armor these days you know something to decorate the big mansion but uh he, mo he points over to uh doris i can see the scratch marks on that that's seen that seems some actual use. Armor and... that does not is little more than a false promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I couldn't agree more, but uh, don't tell Tempest I said that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, on that, actually, Mr. Song, if I were to uh, bring friends along sometime, or compatriots, would you perhaps be interested in a position as something of a weapons master? Hmm. He, uh, he thinks, he thinks to himself, position? No, but you got the money, I'll do the job. <laughs> Absolutely understandable. <laughs> he, uh, he, he, he kind of smiles. Uh, like, you bring anyone by <laughs> any time, I'll, I'll, I'll open shop. I mean, the only, the only time I wouldn't is if I'm at the school. You work at the school? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually a professor of mathematics. Um, he uh, he, <laughs> he kind of shrugs and waves his hand. All that sniper training actually coming in handy, I guess. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Uh, do, do you, I assume you uh, must work with uh, Martha Teach then, yes? Oh, yeah, she's my best friend. Oh, <laughs> I could see why. <laughs> yeah, no, she's great. Um. She's been like, she's been actually pretty useful in starting this place up. Uh, I, I wasn't feeling too confident about it. She said, uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> he starts to laugh back, bet you couldn't. And then I said, yeah, I could. And uh, next thing I know, I got an armory. <laughs> I know exactly that feeling. <laughs> that sounds like my thought, right? <laughs> he he kind of smiles. Yeah, like, especially if you guys are friends of Teach, like, yeah, I'll hap happily make whatever you want. Uh, no, not, not quiet. Hmm? Um, <laughs> work in progress. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he kind of, he, he's like, when you're like, oh, not quite, he's like, huh, big frown, and you're like, work in progress, and he's like, oh, okay. 
Rakesh like so long, like immediately. Like, yeah, okay, I understand. We 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 met under circumstances that were less than ideal. Um, not to mention at the party, we didn't hit off too great. Um, a little oh. bit of an uphill thing right now. Yeah, Doris kind of puts an arm around your shoulder. Yeah, that uh, I I've never seen her quite like that at the party. Uh, that was. Uh, uh, <laughs> he he kind of like eyes widen for a second like looks away like yeah uh, he it's it's an interesting expression on his face uh delilah you can sense something like uh like oh i almost want to apologize for one of my friends but you can also tell that song doesn't think so lowly of teach as to do that it's more like uh like a that's rough buddy <laughs> kind, yeah. of, kind of feeling delilah appreciates that like yeah <laughs> yeah she's never been quite like that before um i guess she was kind of like that around the empty night but uh uh he like sort of runs his hand along his chin but uh she's tough she'll bounce back uh she seems to be bouncing back pretty hard right now. Well, that's good to hear. Um, if you know of anything I, I could do to help her bounce back a little quicker, that would be that would be lovely. Yeah. Well, the teacher has been quite a beacon for this city, and at least some of the wit folks that I speak with. I would <laughs> I deeply appreciate being able to help her along. I uh, kind of around the time of the empty. I mean, guess I'm doing it right now. Uh. I made the mistake of leaving her alone too long. So, uh, I guess don't do that. <laughs> he, uh, he says, like, looking back down at, uh, the various, like, maces, flails, etc. Starts to pack them up. I, uh, should have been there for her, but, uh, I just sort of let her, uh, st stew in her own juices. Is that the word? Hmm. <laughs> I, I think I understand what you mean. If you get, you know, lost in your own thoughts it just becomes an echo chamber and it can it can do a lot of damage yeah uh just the same he packs them all up best way to approach teach and uh i guess like figure out how to treat her is uh she actually <laughs> there was a bit of a misunderstanding for years actually uh she thought i hated her guts yeah uh oh my because uh, I have a tendency to come across as kind of aggro, and I'm, I'm working on it. Like, I'm trying to back down. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, I eventually just sat down with her, and uh, I said, oh, yeah, I'm, like, I, I invited her to my birthday, and I said, like, oh, yeah, of course you'll come, because you're my best friend. And uh, she told me straight to my face, uh, I thought you hated me. <laughs> uh, song starts laughing along. Um <laughs> The big thing with Teach, though, is just, uh, I guess, ask her how she wants to be treated and then just do that. <laughs> like, he kind of shrugs. That's all I did, and it worked for me, but, uh, eh. <laughs> uh that sounds so... like quite sound advice. <laughs> I feel so dumb. That's so obvious. I did not just do that. <laughs> oh, Mama. Puts her hand, like, hugs you. I think I... we are allowed to make mistakes, remember? I mean, oh, you. <laughs> I mean, so long as you weren't challenging her to like confrontations for a few years, I think you're probably off on a better foot than I was. So he says, mumbling to himself slightly off to the side. Oh my, well, that I... sounds quite dangerous. She out here, she is quite strong. <sighs> I wasn't the start of confrontations, but I could be the cause of someone being gone now. So, hmm. but you know, it, it'll all work out, I'm sure. Um, he, uh, he gets another look like uh, like he's trying to put two and two together he's like oh yeah connecting it up huh and then like he, he starts to connect up the various pieces that do eventually like lead back to Beretta's disappearance Delilah maybe and then he like he, he starts to wrap his head around it and you can see the gears turning and like uh -huh. at a certain point it's like that's ah, too much work <laughs> <laughs> good boy he gets that same expression on his face as before, though, like, ah, that's real funny. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like this is the default for Song, where he's like, ah, I empathize with you. Uh, I ain't following along, but I empathize with you. And, like, <laughs> like, you feel a weird thing. It's, like, um, almost, like, a certain amount of, like, 
I guess it's like, it's not empathy, but it's sympathy of like being in this position with Teach and Song's like, yeah, I get ya. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Yeah, well, he, he gets it. <laughs> um, Delilah uh, lowers her fan again and smiles. Dear, can I just say, as a mama, your mama must be proud. <laughs> oh, my mom's great. Uh, he, he stops and thinks back. You know what? This is a weird thing to say, uh, especially like, I guess it's just saying you too. I gotta call my mom. <laughs> Dear, that is a wonderful idea. <laughs> I know that your mama would really appreciate that because whenever I get a call from my, mom, <laughs> my, my, my sweet baby girl, you know, even though she's just down the street, it just makes my day of time. <laughs> Also tearing up. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Uh, he, he like takes a step back. Nah, uh, I'll give her. A, I'll give her a call right after this. Um, mind if I close up shop early? I, I, I gotta. I gotta talk to my family. <laughs> he like kind of scratches the back of his head. Of course, sir. Of course. And I, I, pro I can guarantee you will have much business from me in the future. Yes, indeed. Um, and especially if it keeps my baby girl safe, you will absolutely see me again about armor. Um, because you've just been so swell and we just been talking your ear off. Uh, Delilah sets down a, uh, a little card, uh, Deltano Diner Delicacy card. Um, why don't you treat yourself to a nice meal and call your mama? <laughs> he looks down and then taps it on the table. Oh, nice, I can, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go bother Jaber for some coffee. <laughs> That sounds lovely. Well, uh, I don't mean to take up any more of your time. Um, he but, stands up and comes with. He's like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm walking right next door. Sorry, uh, I I didn't. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think Jabez Cafe is owned by the Deltano family. So uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat well tonight. <laughs> he starts to walk out. And uh, Delilah, I owe you something that I should have given you last session. It's a very obvious one, but like, oh. it's it's the obvious ones that slipped my mind. Boom. Yeah. Clearly. Oh, yay! Fucking, fucking clearly. Queen. Like, like <laughs> yeah, no, I owed you that one. Um, Song winds up closing up shop behind you as y'all go outside. And you go back home. Doris eventually goes on her way with her big flail and like, yeah, no, she is stopped by Tempest and she 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 very happily shows off her license and her new flail and begrudgingly <laughs> they go on their way. Song goes next door and enjoys a nice cup of coffee. And Delilah, you keep tonight in mind, in the future, you expect to be helping out at the Siren Plenty. And with that, we'll call it to a close. Excellent work, everyone. That was uh, nice and that refreshing. Was, that, was that was really wonderful. fun. Yeah. I love that. I, that was so nice. I wanted I, to I wanted to give you a chance to strut your stuff, and I'm like, what would Will kill at? Exactly this. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. I, I would love to do this at, as often as yep. you guys are willing, and I, I'd be happy to try and get other players involved as well, just so that like we can get more screen time with them and for them to have a possible <laughs> of seeing them with characters we wouldn't normally see um because i mean like you know garai and jeremiah that <laughs> fucking weird i'm i'm down for that kind of shit i oh, liked that, that a lot we've got fan art oh hot damn thanks thanks everybody who drew something for like a for a mid midweek stream Yo, oh my god <gasps> oh, so much fun. <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness Holy shit. Oh, oh my great. god. That's good shit. That's so good. Yeah, this was oh by my god, B. she's so cute. Yeah, that was by B, and also this is Amber Spaghetti by Lesser2020. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Lesser. So yeah. They'll bust your kneecaps. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the man once. I watched him drown. I visited Illyria today. I watched her clown. <laughs> I think I just saw a sewer mermaid. I saw him 
frown. <laughs> <laughs> a metal slime, that is yeah. wonderful. That, that is, is delightful. That is the kind of joke that we do all the time in our calls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then from Nervous Dragon, we got a whole bunch Aww. of people. Oh, nice oh, the lineup. Oh my gosh. It's the, it's the crew. That's very, oh. holy shit, rapidly and well done. Yeah. Nicely Lovely. done. Lovely. I, lo I love the joy. That's wonderful. He's so good. Oh my god. Holy shit. Six, eight, yep, here it is. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> From Agent J. Arthur? Wrong. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> what the heck? Crocodile Man destroyed his third reason to live. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, balloons. Bunch of balloons. <laughs> Holy shit! That was that was that was wonderful. That was everything I hoped the mini game would be. Uh, yeah, welcome. Because of course we have to have a management mini game. I'm glad <laughs> that the management mini game slapped so hard. God. That was incredible. Great work. That was that was really fun. That's very silly, and I, I had a <laughs> wonderful time. And like, like I said, like. Anytime you guys are willing, I, I'd yeah. be down to do this. It's just fun. Yeah, yeah. no, if there's light yeah. week, we'll just be like, yo, you want to do this thing again? Fuck it. Like, I don't care. That was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's a great reason to also bring in additional characters that you might not expect, like you said. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you so Thank much, you so everyone. Much. Yeah. Toodles. Have a great night. Bye.